Hi everyone, so for today's video, I have another storing photo cards video. I honestly don't have a ton of stuff to put away for this video, but I still wanted to film it anyways. And I do have like a decent like mix of groups. And I have a bunch of fair stuff to put away too. So I figured I would just film it now instead of waiting any longer. I do have something for every single one of my binders this time. I just don't have something for every group. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it. So I'm gonna start with EXO like I usually do. And for my EXO album cards binder, I don't only have one card to put away. I just have one of Kai's Peaches photo cards. I really haven't made much progress on this album at all. So I literally just have the three cards I pulled and then one extra one. So hopefully I can work on that album more soon. But I do have some non-album stuff to put away for EXO. Right. So I have a few things to put in this binder. Same ones for life postcard, which I think might actually be like the last postcard of his that I need. And then the person I bought it from was also selling one of his 4x6 photos with it. So I also have that. I've been wanting that for life postcard for a while now, but it wasn't like a super high priority. So I'm glad I finally have it. And then I did also get his Love Shot Hollow Card in Sandy the sandy there and and then a 2020 or 2021 season three is pre-order card so that goes there after not doing anything at this page for months I finally have a few things and then I did um move Kai's tempo standy on the back of Sehun's and I didn't move a few other things around in this binder but none of it was like anything big so I'm not gonna go into that right now That is everything for EXO that I have. So now I'm going to get into Blackpink. So for my album cards binder for Blackpink, I don't have any cards to put away. But I did finally decide to start collecting the postcards for the album. So I do have a few of those, and I'm going to switch these. I'm going to pull all these out and switch the way they're laid out. And I'm going to put them in four pocket pages instead of two pocket pages. Postcards that I didn't have before, and then these were the ones I already had. So each member has five postcards, but they're all different concepts, so they don't all like have the same amount of postcards from each concept. Like you think Rose has a bunch with this concept, but you think most of Rose's postcards are this concept, and then Jenny has two of this one, but everyone else just has one. So I think I'm gonna do one page with all four members, and then each member is going to have their own page after that. So I'm going to put this concept all in one page together.
then I just need to use his postcard for that page. She was the member. She's the only member that I only pulled once for the postcards. So I do still need most of hers. And then I do have two of Lisa's and then I have her other two on the way. Lisa's page. And then I'm just missing one more of Rosie's. And there is Rosé. Jenny, I almost pulled her full set. I'm just missing one more of hers. I just have two of Jesus. Okay, so there are postcards for the album. I really don't need that many more, so hopefully they can finish that soon. But that was everything for this black paint binder. I do have a few things for my non-album binder for them. So I have the blank membership cards, and then two big merch cards for La Lisa. I think for now, I'm going to put the Blink membership cards on this page with the light stick cards. Because I honestly don't know where else to put them. I might end up moving those at some other point for now. I'm just gonna stick with that. And hopefully Lisa will be releasing another photo book this year. And I, forgot, I also did buy one of her other photo cards from the show. Like her, one of her other photo cards from the show album. So I don't know where I'm gonna put that. I think I might. I think it's the other one that's in color. So I think I'm just gonna put that like that for now. And I already have a page set up for these two cards. So I bought one of the sticker sets and I already put the stickers in here just because they kept falling out of the sleeves. They kept falling out of the sleeves, so I figured I would just put them away so they want to keep doing that and then I also put the envelope that the one merch card came with in the middle and it's in a hollow sleeve so I don't really have like a plan of what I want to put on this page I just know I wanted the stickers in there so I'm just gonna put the
pre-order card from her photo book and then I have the merch card that came with the stickers so there are a bunch of these so I kind of at least want to get two more just to finish this page then the last thing I have then the last thing I have for Blackpink is the Polaroids from her photo book. I don't know if anyone else that collects Blackpink feels this way, but I'm like honestly so tired of all of the Polaroid style inclusions for everything. Like they've done it so many times now that I'm like tired of it. Because I think every release since Solo has had some kind of Polaroid style inclusions. Like, even if it's not something like with the Polaroid border. Like, for how you like that in the album, the photo cards were literally like taken with the Polaroid and they just scan them. It's like the quality of them wasn't that great. And then it's like. I don't mind the Polaroid style stuff for like the um, welcoming collections and the summer packages and stuff like that. But considering that every single album release since Solo has had some kind of Polaroid style inclusion, I think I'm kind of just over it. Like I wouldn't mind like if they did bigger inclusions like this and they kept the Polaroid style, but I'm, I wish they would at least stop with the Polaroid style photo cards. Like I said, I don't know if other Blackpink collectors feel that way, so if you collect Blackpink, feel free to let me know. But I'm honestly just so tired of it at this point. I think I'm still going to keep collecting everything, but it would be nice to have something not Polaroid style. That is everything for that. And I was thinking about this earlier. I kind of just want to switch these around. everything for Blackpink. I think I'm going to end up buying the Welcoming Collection for this year. So I should have that for the next story video I do. But that is everything for Blackpink. Next I'm going to do Espa. So I have a few Espa things to put away and I did decide to start collecting some of Winter's non-album stuff. So I rearranged how I wanted to lay out Savage like three different times. But I think I'm going to stick with this for now. So we do have her other lenticular. And I have those done. And I did end up buying one of her SM Global Shop pre-order cards. This is honestly, I think, probably my favorite card of hers. Like, out of all of her cards. And then I have her selfie card from the Hallucination Quest version. I am halfway done with their cars for Savage. Hopefully, we can finish those soon. So, realize this should be over one more. And I do just have one minion card. I do have her one lenticular on the way. that and then I just have three of Winter's non album cards so I don't have like I don't have like a specific layout in mind especially because I only have three cards right now and I don't have a plan of what else and I don't have a plan of what else I'm going to collect I'm kind of I'm thinking about maybe doing like one extra like non album card per release I'm gonna wait and see how I feel but I did end up getting her Black Mamba photo card that came with like this sticker set and I do have this sticker set. I just don't know if I'm gonna put it in my bi in this binder. And it did come in a hollow sleeve, so I just kept that in there. I think for now I'm gonna put that in the middle. 
And then I do have two of her Seasons Greetings cards. I honestly wasn't planning on collecting any of her Seasons Greetings stuff. But I found someone selling it, like her entire set, for a really good price. So I decided to just go ahead and buy it. And put those there for now. I'm definitely going to end up moving this around. But since I only have three cards for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. Like I said, I do have her entire season greetings set. And the person I bought it from also included her 4x6 for, from forever. So I have that too. whatever 4x6 at the top and the season greetings postcards next I'm thinking about also getting her season greetings photo pack thing and if I do, I'm going to end up getting Sehun's too, even though I, I, so I didn't buy the EXO Seasons Greetings. Because I honestly didn't really like it that much, and SM put like absolutely no effort into it. And I'm pretty sure like the only photo cards that came with it, like they're, none of the members' faces were even in them. So I didn't end up buying it, but I think I might get the photo pack just so I can have something that is with my Espo stuff for now like I said I don't know exactly what I'm going to collect for them I don't know exactly what I'm going to collect for winter for non-album but I'm definitely not in a rush to finish it and I'm not trying to get everything Okay, and next I have there's nothing for dream catcher or red velvet. I do finally have two summer cards to put away. I've really been struggling to find her cards, and I'm not even planning on collecting them. I think it was there's 12 different cards. I only need I won't be planning on collecting nine and that's including the k-town for your pre-order cards and the special card that i got so i only need three more cards but they're all selfie cards that i want to get so it's going to be even harder to find those but i'm glad i did at least manage to get two other cards i'm kind of considering buying another album just to see what i pull I don't know, we'll see. I'm glad I at least have what I have for now. And I did manage to find two more cards. Okay, and then that is everything for this binder. I'm really hoping Dreamcatcher have a comeback soon because I feel like Summer Holiday feels like it was so long ago. And I feel like I've been, like I'm not technically done because I still need this last GU card and one End of Nightmare card. And I think one more Rita Dream card. But honestly, at this point, I'm not worried about getting those. But it would be nice if they would have a comeback because I feel like I'm ready to have something else to collect for them. Okay, but that is everything for this binder. Next, now all I have left is twice. just have a few twice cards don't have a lot of stuff and actually nothing for sauna i feel like i've made no progress with her collection lately i do have one summer nights card so i'm getting close to finishing gq i just need like three more cards um, one chewy fancy you card Card. 
And I have a few Eyes Wide Open cards. See, I feel like this page would have looked so much better if Sana and Jinkyo wouldn't have had two different cards that don't match the set at all. close to finishing eyes wide open honestly i'm really not in a rush to finish twice or anything they have so many cards i rather just take my time with it i'm kind of collecting slowly but i do really want to get this last chaeyoung card for this set so you can be done with that. But I do have the last Jihyo for a taste of love. So now I am completely done with taste of love. I'm so glad that I decided to drop collecting three different OT9 sets because honestly, that was just way too much. And I wasn't like putting any effort into finishing it. So I'm really glad I only I'm really glad I decided not to collect those. And then on to Formula of Love. I just have two cards. So I have this G heel and that Chewy card. So I just need that last Sano card for this page. And I'll finally have a full page. And then I made no progress on this one. Um, no progress on the set. Like I said, I'm not really in any kind of rush to finish twice. Because they have so many cards and they do. They do tend to have comebacks pretty regularly. I would much rather just take my time and get what I can get for them. And slowly work on the collection because it is... A lot to collect. And that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.